So a question on practice, feeling burned out, um, am I practicing too much? Am I spreading myself too thin? Um, and, and I'll, I'm not going to try to pronounce your full name. <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm just going to say Milt, uh, cause I will murder your full name. Um, so essentially, first of all, you said in your email that you, uh, served in the armed forces for having a five and a half years. So thank you for your service. Really appreciate that. It's because of guys like you that I get to do the things that I get to do. Um, my brother also served. Um, to your question. So you got a lot of different things going on. You're in school for something else that's not related to music. Um, but you're also wanting to pursue this. You feel like you have to catch up because you're starting late in the game, right? You want, you want to prove everybody wrong that you can still do this. Um, so yeah, um, to your question about spreading yourself too thin. Yes, there is a way if you're feeling the burnout, if you're feeling all those things. And I don't just say that, I actually have some, some studies and things that can back that up that I can, that I can tell you about. Um, uh, first of all, with your practice time, you're practicing three to four hours a day. Um, and that is, that is a, a, that's a good bit. That's a, that's a heavy pace. That would be a heavy pace for, for a professional. And so uh, we'll get to that in just a second. Uh, kind of piecing out all of that, but focus. Let's talk about that first. Anytime a student comes in and they start using the words like, I find myself tired, I can't stay focused, I can't, you know, these are all burnout issues. And what we have to realize is there's a, there's a muscle. It's not even a muscle. It's like a muscle. It's our, it's our prefrontal cortex. It's, it's, it's in our brain. It's not a muscle. Um, but it has to do with uh, task management, with um, setting goals, being able to track to those goals, uh, focus. All those things are, are that, the, the job of that prefrontal cortex. And um, uh, they're called cognitive abilities. And it's like a muscle in that you only have so much focus that you can do before you have to regroup and let yourself focus again. Now, there's a cool thing here, and there's a great study, uh, the, the role of deliberate practice in the acquisition of expert performance. If you want to just really geek out about this topic, I can give you tons of books and studies. But we'll pull from that study because that's one of the most well-known that I talk about. In there, they, uh, they found an interesting thing whenever they were discussing the, the role of practice. They found that a, a person's practice was not uh, driven by how many hours they had to practice. It was driven by how long it took them to recover from the last deliberate practice session. Okay, So recovery is just as important as the practice time. In other words, life helps you recover. How did they recover? They found that they had two times as much recreational, or they, they found that during the week they had just as much recreational activity, just hanging out, living life, as they did practice time. Uh, on the weekends, that went up to two times as much. They found that they got two and a half to three times as much sleep as they did practice. Okay, so the way that we're going to recover is rest, sleep, uh, just doing life, going to a movie, playing basketball, all those things, uh, uh, are, will help, recreational activities will help you, walks in nature, working out, all of those things help you regain your cognitive functions or your focus. Three to four hours is a lot of practice time to do on a regular pace, and if you're feeling burned out, you need to back that down some, because chances are you're not giving yourself enough time to, to recover. It's just like when you're in the gym. Uh, you just as much what happens outside of the gym, uh, it's more important than actually what happens in the gym. It's like 15% of what you do is in the gym. The other part is what you eat, how much you sleep, and how you're fueling your body. And that goes with practice too. So if you're feeling that way, I would start looking at, am I giving myself enough time to recuperate? And in this case, I would say no, because you're, you're burning the candle at both ends. You're in a major that you really want to, uh, or that you're doing that's not related to music, and you're trying to do music just as much. Um, I get it. But you got to give yourself a break some point because your your focus is suffering, and the focus that you give to your schoolwork takes away from the focus with your practice and that type of thing. So you got to give yourself time to recover. Uh, the other thing that you asked was, are you spreading yourself too thin? And you basically got uh, three to four hour long sessions at different times, broken up into half hour uh, each time. You're working on six to eight topics uh, within one within your practice day. That's a lot. I would rather you see. I would rather see you go deeper on fewer topics, so like three to four topics if we're going to practice that much, um, and, and I would rather you see you go deep. So like rudiments, then do some groove practice, and then do, maybe do some um, coordination type practices, however that lays out in what you're doing. But you'll see more progress if you spend a longer amount of time 
on one topic rather than splitting that up. So maybe spend the whole hour long session on one thing and then moving on. Um, I always put rudiment work in there because they're, they're very important to, to work. But I would scale back how much you're practicing and try to find a balance between school and work and practice. And, and then I would also uh, scale back the number of things that you're working on in your practice time. I try not to work any more than three ta three things uh, at a time. In my practice sessions, I usually practice between an hour and a half and two hours. I find that I don't get things done. I'm just touching on it rather than going real deep, and I'd rather go deep and see that progress. So again, thanks for your service. This is a great question. You are not the only one that has this problem, and so feel encouraged by that. Most of my students face this issue. We think that we need to push more, 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 and really we need to pull back. We need to assess, am I giving myself enough time to recover to really have a focused practice session? Because I would rather see you have 15 focused minutes than an hour of just going in there and trying to get through it. That's not doing anything. Another thing that the study found that's interesting, I'll leave you with this, is they found that past two hours of practice, focus practice, because it's deliberate practice, it's not just practice, it's a deliberate focus practice. They found that the, that the results started uh, falling off. In other words, they started getting declining results. And by three hours and, and into that fourth hour, they started seeing like people going backwards. In other words, they're doing harm because they're trying to push themselves past what they're able to do. So my advice to you would be sit down and practice. If you're feeling unfocused and exhausted, take a break and do something that helps restore cognitive abilities. Go on a walk in nature, do a, a short set of jumping jacks and some crunches or something physical because that has been proven to improve cognitive function. Deep breathing exercises works as well. And the third thing that also works really well is uh, fiction. Don't read biographies, autobiographies, read fiction things that are not true, Moby Dick, all those things, for some reason they help you recover. Then go back and sit down. If you're still not focused, be done for the day, okay? Because at that point, you know you need to recuperate, get yourself some food, get some rest, go out and hang out with some people, do some life so that you can have uh, a better practice time. It's a great question. Though.